I am engaged and I have gotten a ton of questions so we're just gonna get right on into this video it's a little engagement Q&A um, I have asked you guys on Instagram to ask me questions about my engagement <laughs> and I'm just gonna answer them I wrote a few staples down in my notes so we're just gonna get into this video I just got engaged to my fiance Bradley <laughs> um, still getting used to calling him a fiance we got engaged on Monday, September 13th. I think that was a Monday. Let me check, double check. Yeah, Monday the 13th is when we got engaged. It was his birthday. That was like, I feel like the first little question. It was his birthday. Um, it was super sweet. He like dropped to a knee and said like, the best gift I could ever have is marrying you pretty much. He knows his exact words. I was bawling. If you watched my last video, you would see my reaction was purely me bawling my eyes out out of just, I was so shocked. But let me just get into the questions. I'm so excited. Look. Starting off with one I've gotten quite a bit is why are you getting married so young? So if you're new here, I am 19 years old. I turned 19 in May. And to answer that question, why am I getting married so young? Um, why should we wait? Why should I wait until I'm older? You know, like literally we know, we both know <laughs> that like he's the one, I'm the one. We know, we don't see any reason on waiting. We want to get married, we want to spend the rest of our lives together. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> I think life is way, way too short to wait around and be like, well, we'll get married in a couple years because you don't know where you're going to be in a couple years. So. Yes, and we just love each other with everything in us, and we know, and I just promise you guys, when you know, like when they say you know when you know, that is like no joke, you literally know, everything's different, it all, like your whole world flips, and you're like, wait a minute, wait a minute, this is the person I want to spend the rest of my life with, he's my best friend, I'm his best friend, um, we do everything together, we are like inseparable, we already live together, we want to get married, so that's exactly what we're doing. Okay, I'm gonna flash you guys my ring like a hundred times in this video. <laughs> Next question, long engagement or short? Our engagement is going to be short because I'm not patient enough to have like a year or longer engagement, so short engagement. We actually know our wedding day. I'm not gonna tell you guys yet, but we are getting married in January. That's like all I'll give you. So that's like a four, a little bit over four months of an engagement or not even four months so yeah <laughs> yeah short engagement when is the wedding january i'm not gonna give you guys the exact date yet i'll probably post it eventually but we have some other things to do before but our date is january so yeah i'm so excited um, did you expect him to propose or were you surprised like when he did <sighs> So it's like been talked about a lot. Like we, I like knew we were gonna get married at some point. I did not know when he was gonna propose. And backstory, little backstory. It's his birthday. We were trying to take pictures. I was throwing a little fit. Okay, I was being a little brat. I was like, I don't look good. I hate these pictures. Like I was really throwing a fit about the pictures. And he was trying to propose. I had no idea. He could tell the story better because, you know, his point of view my point of view is different but I was being a brat and he was like just trying to propose and I was like not having it having it and then he proposed and I just was not expecting it and I thought I would expect it but I just didn't I was so surprised and I just cried my video the video before this one probably I think unless I post another video I don't think I will you'll see the um, engagement the proposal I cried and cried like hysterically was like <laughs> just so shocked and so excited i was like semi laughing and then crying so then i was like <laughs> so yeah i was so shocked i had no clue like no idea and the fact that i didn't know was crazy because there was just hints thrown at me like if i wasn't having my drama moment i would have probably caught on but i was having a moment so i did not know yeah i he literally was playing like a song i was like i don't want to be a boyfriend anymore Talking about proposing, like, that's what it meant. I was like, like when we were on the way to the spot, we got engaged. But yeah, I had no clue. I was so surprised, shocked. 
long did he have it planned? So this is a question that would be better for him to answer, but he could answer in another video his whole story on it. But he knew for like two months, I think. Probably a little longer than that, but he got the ring like two months ago. Um, and I had no clue. So yeah, he knew for a long time um, and he was planning it and just working it all out and all that. But I had no idea. He kept tricking me. I thought it was gonna be like later on. Um, did he ask your parents for permission? So yes, he did. He asked my dad a while ago, a long time ago, and my mom. Well, he didn't really ask my mom. It's really just ask my dad, and then he told my mom. But they were both like, yes, woo, because they love him, and we're so good together. Like, they were just like, yeah, duh, of course. So as you guys know, I love Case Spy. You see it in, like, all my videos when I'm holding my phone. In this video specifically, you guys see me holding my phone to answer your questions. Case by cases are slim and protective. They are clearly very, very slim. Very, very cute. They have so many different patterns, colors, options to choose from. You can customize it with your monogram name or any little words you want. This one is the Ultra Impact phone case. It has these little bumpers on it. But another great one is the Impact case. This is my mom's phone, actually. She loves them. She's been having them since I've been having them, and she absolutely loved them. This one's really, really cute. But as you can tell the difference, this one has bumpers, and this one does not. Um, but they're both so cute. They're both very, very slim phone cases, and they're just, like, the best. Both of their impact cases, the Ultra and the regular impact cases, are engineered with a two-layer construction of Chi-Tech. And they are both drop test approved. This one up to 9.8 feet, and this one's up to 6.6 .6 feet, which is awesome. I drop my phone all the time. Um, I tend to have my phone tucked into my waistband when I have like leggings on, and sometimes I forget and I'll bonk it right out, and it'll fall on the ground. But it's totally fine with Casefy. And Casefy has an antimicrobial coating on their cases, keeping your phone germ free, killing up to 99% of germs. Which is so cool. You always have your phone like this or in your hands and it's just really great that they have that just so you don't have a bunch of germs on your phone because that's gross. Um, and their impact and ultra impact cases are made up of 50% recycled plastics so you can feel really good about your case by phone case. I could go on and on about these cases. You guys know I love them. I love them for years now. Um, I stand by these cases. Like, with all honesty, I 100% love these cases. You'll always see them on my phone. They're so good. My mom has them. My fiance has them. My Nana has them. Love, 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 love. So cute. Like I said, I could go on and on about these cases being so amazing, but I think you guys probably get the gist. You know I love them. They're my favorite cases. Um, you guys can actually get 15% off of your Case by phone case if you go to casefy.com slash Messler for 15% off your Case by case. Go get a case, guys. If you don't have one already and you've been watching my channel, what are you doing? This is my favorite phone case. I've had multiple. They're so good. Go get one. Go get your Case by case. You can get it for 15% off. Go to casefy.com slash Messler. 15% off. Go get a phone case. Now, okay. Back to the video. Did you pick out your ring? No, I literally did not have anything to do with it. It's so perfect. It's the most beautiful ring ever. Uh, I got a few questions about it. The designer is Kleinfeld. It's so pretty. He knew like what I liked. Like I like solitaire rings and I like white gold over like gold, yellow gold, whatever it's called. Um, I wear a lot of silver jewelry, so white gold was the way to go. And then I like oval, he knew that, and solitaire. Yeah, so here's the ring facing like this view. So pretty, so perfect. And then the side view is so pretty. The detailing on the band is supposed to represent lace on a wedding dress and then there's little diamonds on the side. And it is just the most stunning, gorgeous, perfect, beautiful ring I literally could have ever imagined. I was like, oh my God. Like I even, I didn't look at the ring right away. Like I was just in the moment like, oh my God, he's proposing to me. And then I finally looked at the ring and I was like, are you kidding me? This is the most beautiful ring I've ever seen. Oh, and it's really cool because the bottom is flat. Can you see that? Wait. <laughs> Can you tell that it's flat? It's not round all the way around because the flatness on the bottom is supposed to keep it from turning, which is really cool. I never even heard of that. So it's the most perfect ring. And I had no clue he did not have any help. He picked this ring. His, his favorite part was the detailing on the side, and I think that's so sweet, and I just love this ring so much. It's so pretty. What are you looking forward to the most about being married? 
so much life after the wedding life after you know just being married having him as my husband i get to call him my husband oh my gosh lucky lucky me um no but i'm just so excited to do life with him spend the rest of my life with him grow old with him you know go through every little step together do everything together i'm just so excited for that that's like my biggest thing is doing life with him i'm just so excited for um as far as like the wedding goes, I'm just looking forward to seeing how it all comes together and you know, just the day that I get to like marry him. So excited, but yeah, life after mar the wedding, life after being married, life after the wedding. I'm like saying that wrong, life after the wedding, just being married. I'm so excited to do every little step with him, you know, go through every stage, buy a house. Oh, yeah, that's a big thing, I forgot buy a house after we get married because you know we are not apartment people we're not going to be staying in the apartment that's actually a question is are you going to stay in the apartment or buy a house after we get married we plan on buying a house so that's a huge step for us and we're just so excited for that because we've been talking about a house forever a house would be so much better for us personally and just be better for like our dog oakley like just everything overall would be better with a house and we're waiting obviously till we're married to buy a house together so, but yeah, just life after being the wedding, <laughs> um, spending forever with this person, my best friend, my lover. Will Oakley be in the wedding? Um, as much as we would love to have him in the wedding, and we could have him in the wedding because it is allowed at the venue we're getting married at, but no, I don't think he's going to be in the wedding just because he's a little dog, he's a hyper dog, he um, doesn't... I don't think he'd be able to sit still enough. He would bark at people. He's not trained like like a golden retriever or a bigger breed dog to where he could sit for a picture. Look at this nut job. He's walking around literally right now with a toy on his head. Oakley, Oakley, what are you doing? <laughs> so as you can tell, he's a nut. Um, this is what I we got going on here. I don't. <laughs> This is his thing lately. He's been putting his head in this toy. Um, like it's a helmet. You wanna take it off? The camera's crooked now. But he just, I don't think, would sit well for pictures. He would wanna bark at people. He would get distracted. Oh my gosh, he gets so distracted. It just would be very difficult and then we would have to put him away and I, he'd be like sad and freak out. So... The answer is probably not going to be in the wedding. As much as we would love to, because we love him. He's our like, child, but he just, I don't think, would cooperate. Does anything feel different now that you're engaged? Uh, I would say no, besides the fact that like he's my fiancé and I'm his fiancé. Um, and that fact that we're literally getting married and we're going to be together forever and ever. Like, that was already the plan, so it's not that much different. It doesn't feel any different because we already... Like, it was already in the books for us to pay whatever, like, to be together forever. It's been like that for so long, so nothing really feels different now. Besides, I, like, look at my ring a lot. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But nothing really feels different. It's not weird. It's not like, oh, gosh, we're going to have to be together forever. None of that. None of that. But no, nothing. No feelings are different or nothing. I'm just really excited. <laughs> Is there any backstory or significance of the place he proposed? So, <clears throat> if you follow me on Instagram, you know we got engaged at the Tacoa River in Georgia. There's no backstory at all <laughs> to that place. Actually, he wanted to propose at the cabin we were staying at with the view of mountains in the background, but I was throwing his feet, like I said earlier. So we did not go there, and they were just like, where do we go? And they were fishing at that river earlier that day, and so... Basically, they were, we were just like, they are like, oh, let's go take a picture there, that'd be pretty. And I was like, oh, whatever, okay, fine, it's your birthday, I'll do whatever. And then that's where he was. <laughs> but now there's no significance other than the fact that we went there because I was being a brat at the cabin where he wanted to propose. So, yeah. <laughs> People ask the craziest things, and I'm like, y'all are crazy. Someone asked, are you pregnant? No. No, I'm not pregnant, guys. People do ask some crazy questions. I've gotten a lot of like, do you think you're too young? And I'm like, do you think I would have this ring on my finger if I thought I was too young? No, I don't think so. Yeah. 
Um, I don't really have that many more questions. If you guys want me to do a, another one of these kind of videos, but with my fiance Bradley, um, mm -hmm. let me know and I will find more questions to answer with him that he can really answer and I will do that. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm engaged. There will be a lot of wedding content. I Stuff's been going on right now, so filming is kind of weird right now. Life's crazy. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment more wedding type of videos you want to see because obviously that's life for the next four or five months. So, definitely comment below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you so much. Like and subscribe if you're new here because you should, you should stay. There's going to be fun content. Yeah, okay. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Don't mind my ring flashing you on the way out.